And just who are you? I've been dubbed many names by many people. A ruler. A conqueror. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Jonathan Majors was awesome. Which is also essential, but not one of the top 10. For this list, we're looking at this charismatic performer's best moments on and off the screen. Since we will be getting into the plots of a few movies, a spoiler warning is in effect. What's your favorite Jonathan Majors appearance? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Delivering an Emotional Farewell. Hostiles. And set me high upon a rock. Even now, my head is held high above my enemies on every side. In 2017, Jonathan Majors made his official Hollywood debut when he starred in a Western-themed film called Hostiles. He portrayed a loyal and fierce corporal named Woodson that took pride in serving with the captain Christian Bale played. After an intense ambush, the two are forced to part ways. Even while lying injured in a bed, Majors conveys a ton of emotion and nuance. Don't feel right not helping you finish what we started. We can feel how painful and significant it is that the two brothers in arms must pursue different paths for the time being. Knowing Majors held his own with an Oscar-winning actor like Bale at the start of his career was a sign of great things to come. Ain't many men have taken me in. I won't soon forget it. Number 9. Telling His Batman Story, W Magazine before Jonathan Majors was playing heroes on the big and small screen, he was pretending to be one as a kid. During an interview with W Magazine, he told us about the time he got a Batman costume. My mother, my mother put muscles in the cape. I think I could fly. I knew I could fly. The best part of his story comes when he decided to prove that he was as resilient as the Dark Knight. And I told my mom, Mom, watch this, I'm Batman. And I was in my cape, and the car was moving, and I got out, like Batman would, and survive. Not only is the story hilarious, it's also incredibly relatable. Who didn't want to be a superhero as a kid? While we appreciated how candid Majors was here, there's one question we wish he would have answered before ending that interview. Would he consider playing the Dark Knight on the big screen someday? Number 8. Producing plays from a legendary black playwright at Yale University. That's all death is to me, a fastball on the outside corner. I don't know why you want to get on talking about death. August Wilson was an influential and celebrated African-American writer. In the 21st century, we've gotten strong movie adaptations of his work like Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and Fences. But before the camera started rolling on those projects, Majors helped lead the charge to get Wilson's works performed at Yale while he attended there. The actor managed to produce all 10 plays in the writer's famous American Century Cycle. I can just be a part of myself I ain't never been before. While Majors said that the process was exhausting and time-consuming, he still doesn't regret a thing. His drive helped ensure that a historic playwright's words continued to be heard. I got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. Number seven, showing off his Kang the Conqueror wallpaper, Jimmy Kimmel Live. And now you've blossomed, shall we say, into Kang which is kind of like a Thanos caliber villain, yeah? True. After comic book fans saw the biggest threat in the MCU get eliminated in Endgame, they wondered who would fill his gigantic shoes. Marvel seemed to give us an answer when they cast Jonathan Majors as the powerful supervillain Kang the Conqueror. Since he isn't appearing in that exact role until 2023, he had to avoid giving away any secrets to Jimmy Kimmel. It's ridiculously fun watching Majors dodge even the smallest questions about the villain. Are you dressed like that as no, Kang? No, I think we should go back to this woman. The interview's highlight comes when Kimmel exposes that the actor uses a Kang-themed lock screen. Rather than deny anything, Majors proudly shows off his phone. Seeing how careful and enthusiastic he is about the role made us even more excited to see Kang in the future. You've read the whole script, you know? I read the script. Mm -hmm. This is a... Uh... <laughs> <Da, da, da. laughs> <laughs> Number 6. Disrupting an Argument – The Last Black Man in San Francisco A disagreement between a few men on a San Francisco street was headed in a violent direction. But everything changes when Mont arrives. Instead of addressing the argument, he pretends that the angry men are just in the middle of an acting scene. I believe you, but I know it can be deeper. 
This bizarre approach throws everyone off so much that the tension seems to instantly evaporate into thin air. What made this scene so memorable was how quirky yet complex Majors was here. Hey, great news is you're all doing marvelous work. Congratulations, it's not easy. While he seems silly on the surface, you can still see how seriously he's taking the situation. The heartwarming moment where he checks to make sure everything's all right is the perfect way to cap off this scene. You're okay there. You're okay there. Well, you're not a director, bro. Number five, a smooth bank robbery. The harder they fall. You scared. Your hands shaking, you'll miss. I won't. The outlaw Majors plays in The Harder They Fall usually likes to rob other criminals. However, he's forced to steal from a bank to save his love interest Mary from a terrible fate. During the robbery, he and his partner are forced to resort to violence to take out a couple of their attackers. But he doesn't take a single life. They say you robbing banks is hard work. That's a lie. Robbing banks is easy. The hard part is doing it without killing. At one point, he even shook hands with the bank manager. It was absolutely fantastic seeing Majors play an outlaw with such a strong moral code. While he ultimately doesn't get to spend the money, watching him grab it was ridiculously entertaining. You don't even look like much. I like what it looked like so I can buy you. Number four, showing us a few of his favorite things, GQ. I know what you're thinking. It's just a beanie. Correct. It's just a beanie. When Majors sat down with GQ, he was asked to describe 10 essential items in his life. This prompt gave us around 10 minutes of pure magic with the actor. Every single item opens up the door to another funny and fascinating story. And I wanted to go with this one because it had the most personality. It had the most imperfections. It just became a thing for me to always have my own vessel. No matter whether he's describing a great book or a pair of jeans he never puts in the washing machine, we're completely hanging on every word. Majors is just so charismatic and warm that it feels like we're there having a casual conversation with him. While listening to someone talk about inanimate objects doesn't sound fun, this video is just too charming to skip. I've had this for five years and have missed flights behind it. Number three, dealing with a landmine, the five bloods. Let me tell you something. You ain't been nothing but an anchor around my neck since the day you were born. Yeah, I said it. For most of his life, David had a pretty bad relationship with his father, Paul. Their relationship gets even more strained when they try to recover buried gold in Vietnam. The duo is forced to forget about their rough history completely when David steps on a landmine. As the reality of the situation sinks in, Majors gives us a masterclass in acting. We can feel his fear in every single one of his expressions and shaky words. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, David? Fly. Like, fly like Moses. After Paul organized a plan to get his son off the landmine, we instantly held our breath. Seeing David fly to safety was incredibly satisfying and emotional. Thanks to incredibly believable performances from Majors and Delroy Lindo's Paul, this scene still sticks with us today. Number two, letting others decide the fate of the multiverse, Loki. This is wild. <laughs> the two of you, same person. I mean, it's, it's a little unnatural. After two Loki variants go on a wild journey, they find out that he who remains was behind the show's most twisted events. It's impossible to take our eyes off Majors while he's portraying this mysterious figure. He's charismatic, quirky, and carries a deep sadness within him. We loved hearing He Who Remains explain how he prevents new timelines from popping up. But things got really interesting when he asks the duo to choose if other realities can exist in the Marvel Universe. Watching him surrender his incredible power to a pair of former villains was incredibly fascinating. There's two options. One, you kill me and destroy all this, and you don't just have one devil, you have an infinite amount. Or you two, you two run the thing. And since multiple timelines did emerge in the end, Majors may have played a character behind the biggest change to the MCU to date. See you soon. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Saving His Father in the Past – Lovecraft Country Montrose Freeman used to tell a story about the time he was saved as a child by a mysterious stranger. The stranger showed up swinging a baseball bat like he was Jackie Robinson. Who runs with the head? But when he travels back to the past with his son Atticus to witness this moment, the nameless savior fails to show up. Suddenly, the two come to a stunning realization. You're the mysterious stranger. We're then treated to a triumphant scene where Atticus picks up a bat to save a younger version of his father. While Majors consistently did great work throughout the entirety of his time on Lovecraft Country, this scene was arguably the best showcase of his talents. Majors was vulnerable, powerful, and inspiring all at once. It's tremendous scenes like this that remind us of how awesome he is at his craft. The last thing he said before he disappeared was, I got, got you, kid. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.